Welcome to Robin Hood Shaving Artisans. Hi guys, thanks a lot for stopping in today. As you can see, I still have not painted my uh, my wall here, but I'll get around to it one of these days. I've been really busy outside planting uh, flowers and uh, I put fertilizer on my lawn and oh my god, every two days it's, it's this long, but at least it's growing. So anyway, I'm all hot, I'm sweaty, I'm tired and you definitely need to shave. It's been at least four days. And what I did is I had this uh, this uh, Perrazzo shaving cream, this here before, and then I've got this here because I wanted to see what the, the menthol was like. So there you got two different ones. So today I'm going to use a menthol one. And when you take it out of the box, of course, it looks a little different. It looks like this. They look about the same, except you can see one's a little more green, this one here. Hold it up, green. Hold it down, <laughs> okay. So that's what we're going to use. I took a little bit of that and I put it in my shaving bowl right here and I'm going to let it set. And then I'm going to use a, a Sterling Soap Company. I think this is like a 26 mil. This is a, uh, it's not a synthetic, it's probably a badger, badger, yes, badger, badger brush. Nice and big. So leave that soap for a minute. Um, I am going to use a King G Gillette blade. King C Gillette blade. This is a second, be the second usage. I used it the other day on a shave when I shaved with the uh, King C Gillette razor, which was just an unbelievable shave. So today I'm going to use the Razor Rock, the Game Changer. And each one of these is serial numbered on the bottom. And I don't know if you can see that or not. I don't know how I'm going to hold it so you can see it. You know, we'll take it apart and I'll show it to you. But this is a 0.68 uh, Game Changer. These are stainless steel. It's not an inexpensive razor, but uh, it's the type of razor you could use for the rest of your life. You're not going to wear it out. For sure, none of my razors I don't think you ever wear out. So, let's take this apart. And uh, I'm going to show you, see if I can show you this. Hold this upright so you can see it. All right. It says, made in the Canada. Right there. I'll hold it up. I don't know if you can see that or not, but there you got it. All right. So let's put the blade in. Boy, it's been really hot lately. Holy smoly. A lot of riots going on. Get a life. Okay, we'll put this in here. I noticed the last time I used this, the tolerance of this razor is really extra extra tolerant. Tolerant? No, the, the um, tolerance isn't that much. In other words, there's not much wiggle room. Put it like that. And when you it, sometimes you have trouble getting the blade out, the blade fits so tight in there, which which is you like that. So there's a zero overhang on this razor. Look at that. Is that cool? I don't mind if it's there, but this is kind of neat. It's it's not it's not there at all. And uh, it's a open comb, and you can see how the blade sits in there. It just sits beautifully. It's a nice razor, very nice razor. I haven't shaved with it that much, and I don't know why. But uh, okay, let's wash up and see what happens. See how I uh, get my whiskers off. In case any of you have been gone to my website, arhood.com, I was hit by a something, some type of virus got it. And the site was done, I'm trying to get it up again. I spent half the morning on it, and I don't know why I spent so much time on it, but I did. It's always something, you know. And I pulled my Honda Fit in the garage, and I found a little oil leak. I'm like, oh, come on. <laughs> it's always something. All right, let's shake the water out of this. Drain it out a little bit, so it's like that. We can always add more. Let's see what we can do with a lathering this up. This should lather nicely. I like Prozzo products, I really do. Besides making a lot of noise, whipping this around. Uh, yeah. It smells good, it smells like menthol. I think that's what it's supposed to smell like. What's it got in here? Hang on a minute. Uh, it's got uh, eucalyptus oil and menthol. Okay, there you go. So those of you that like uh, menthol, there you go. I'm going to add a little bit more water. There, that's better. Almost knocked my uh, witch hazel over. You know, it's really hard to hold this up like this and show you because I want to show you what I'm doing. If I, I'm down here it looks kind of cool but all you hear is the, the brush banging against the uh, 
side of my container. So I'm going to do it down here for a minute and then I'll bring it up and show you what I'm doing here. I've been looking forward to this because it's, I don't like a lot of whiskers. I just don't. We've been over this before. Is it whiskers or is it hair? Any comment? Nobody ever left a comment about that. All right, let's put a little more water in. Boy, it's, uh, it's looking nice. Look at that. It smells like menthol. It'll feel like menthol. Let's we'll see if it shaves like menthol. I'm saying shaves like menthol. What's that mean, really? I don't know. I'm just chattering away here because it's so hot out. All right, let's put this on. And I'm going to put some hot, more hot water in the other bowl and then float the uh, lather in, in that one so it keeps it nice and warm. There we go. Housekeeping. All right. I really liked this blade before. It was just uh, really nice and... Let's see how the uh, Razor Rock does. I think I put a take two up on, uh, oh, what was it? The slant bar from Razor Rock. But the other day is don't use a sharp razor in that razor blade. Like a, uh, oh, what did I use? You don't want to use a feather in there. It's just too sharp. You'll find out. I cut the heck out of myself with it. But then I shaved it before and it was all right. So, all right, this lather is really nice and nice and thick. Wow, look at that. A little more water. Look at the lather on that. Wow. I've been looking forward to this. It's hot out and sticky. There's some of the shopping centers shut down because of the riots. Here the other day, I went and picked up Linda from work and about 25 miles away, so I put my shotgun in the back, which I can carry legally. I had two semi-autos Glocks and my bulletproof vest, just in case. All right. Here we go. Let's see how we do this stuff. Man, I've been looking forward to this. How many times have I said that? <laughs> Don't repeat myself. All right, here we go. It's the King C. Gillette Razor. And a Razor Rock Razor. A game changer. And is it nice and smooth? It's one of the smoothest razor blades. Holy smoly. I don't even feel that. That, that soap is so slippery. Wow, nice. I can feel the blade. It doesn't hurt though. Wow, nice. I keep waiting for something to happen here, and it's not going to happen. It's very predictable. Very slippery shaving cream. Parazzo, menthol.
Nice, very nice for the first pass. I have a few of my favorite razors. Maybe I'll do a, a short video on those one of these days and blades, but this King C blade, or King C Gillette blade, which is new, and you can get them at Walgreens Drugstore, or I don't know if you can get them at Boots the Chemist or not yet, but probably you will be able to. And this blade and this cream is a winning combination, and every once in a while, You'll find if you try enough soaps and creams, razor blades and razors, you're gonna find a winning combination. It's just, just a joy to shave. Oh, it's, it's, it's not overly menthol, which I like. It just, it feels good. Really is slippery. Look at all that lathers up. Oh, wow. If you're going on a trip on a plane or something, a cream is a nice one to take with you because you don't have to worry about uh, the container, hard containers for the soaps. Let's shine this up a little bit. See if I get the Chevy, Kevy Shaves approval. <laughs> Hi Kevy, how are you doing tonight? If you haven't uh, been to Kevy Shaves, Website, I would uh, recommend that you go over, suggest it. He has a really, some really nice videos. And he's got a sense of humor, kind of sick, like mine. <laughs> Maybe that's why I like him. Of course, there's Paul, too, Paul H. He's definitely worthwhile looking at. I'm jealous because he has nice flowers, and I don't. I got, you know, what do I have? Cinnamon sticks. All right, we're going to do a cross hatch here, a cross hatch, across the, across the whiskers. Well, I don't know if I mentioned it, but my garden this year is uh, not going to take place. Because I had a virus in it last year in my peppers. I lost about 250 or so pepper plants. I was able to can about, what was it, 50, 60 jars of peppers. I use Anaheim's and Marconi's, plus some other varieties. And uh, so I'm letting it set for a year, put some chemicals on it and fertilizer. That was nice. And uh, next year I may, uh, we'll test her out and see how we do with the peppers. I have enough canned peppers to last me about three years, so I'm not worried. The only thing I will be putting in is uh, bitter corn, bitter melon they call it, or in Tagalog. In Philippines, they eat a lot of it. It's called umpalaya. I can't eat it, it's just too bitter. All right, let's go up here. Look at that soap on that brush yet. Wow. I'm really and thoroughly enjoying this shave, by the way. In case you haven't noticed, I should have brought my wine in. Finally, I'm getting over my gout. My foot was swollen up for, oh gosh, now going on three weeks. I'd say it's about 80% better. There's no pain in the big toe on the left. I've never had it before, so that was a rude awakening, but you know, when you get older, if it's not one thing, it's another. You fix one thing and then something else goes haywire. <laughs> it's, it's like a used car. All right, this is nice, God, man. 
I'm impressed with that uh, razor and that razor blade and the soap the combination. I really am. Razor Rock did a real nice job putting this uh, machine version 0.68, I think it is, gap. Wish I could find a, something where I could measure the gap on razors. I gotta look around. Sometimes I like to measure them. Wow. I gotta tell you guys, I am so impressed. I really am. I thought my Merkur 37C, my slant bar, I love that razor. For sure, that was, that would be one of my 10 top picks, including this razor. And my vintage razors. I have two slim lines, Gillette's sexies. I had them uh, resurfaced or replated. Resurfaced. It sounds like I'm talking about a road. Re <laughs> had them replated. And they shave as good as they did the day 50, 60 years ago. All right, how many years is that? It's 10. Uh, it's 50 years. It's going over 50 years already. Wow. All right, one more little pass around the base of the neck, and we're out of here. Let you go. And I didn't cut myself yet, guys. All right. Look at this. Just put this on. Ah, uh, let's just put it on the whole face. What the heck? There's so much soap here. This is a beautiful brush. If you guys can pick one up, I have links. I have links to all this stuff on my website. If you get it, it doesn't cost you any more if you use my links. And my fish would really love you guys for doing it because then he gets food. <laughs> I'll, the more I have put into this, I'll never make back. But that's okay. All right, we're just on the base of the neck now. Life is not always about money. Boy, is this nice. Man, oh man. I tell you, I'll, I'll make a... a you guys buy these razors, razor blades, and you don't like them, you let me know and I'll buy them from you. My, you know how to find my email. It's under the about thing there. I've never made that offer before, but I would with these blades. These are beautiful blades, I'll tell you. They are so comfortable. Good enough. I give a rating to the blade of a 10, the razor a 10, the brush a 10, and the shaving cream a 10. How it doesn't get any better. If you guys want me to try any soaps or blades or razors, let me know. By the way, I did order my piano uh, from Las Vegas. There's a company over there. I've seen them as high as, uh, I was looking at the Kawai ES8, they call it slab piano, 
And I've seen them everywhere from, I think they're $1,750 on Amazon. And some of the other sites, I think Sweetwater, they're like $2,150. I bought this new for $12.99. $12 so I get a call yesterday from the place where I bought it from in Las Vegas, and they said they're out of them and it's going to take a while to get it in. Maybe because of the COVID virus thing. And I'm going to use some uh, witch hazel right now. Lavender by Thayer's. So they asked me if I wanted my money back or did I want, you know. And I said, well, when are they coming in? They said, probably in July. I said, if I, get the, if I take the money back now, uh, will I be able to order it again for the same price of $12.99? They said, we can't guarantee that. And I said, okay, leave it set. They said, if you ever need the money, just call us. We'll get it right back to you. I said, that's cool. So it'll be like it's in a bank. But at least I locked in the price of $12.99 for that. That's a great price. I've never seen such a good price for that piano. And uh, let's put some Perrazzo aftershave lotion. See how I skip away from the subject and then I come back again? Perrazzo aftershave. This is really nice. i got to keep everything in line here. I don't have a Prazo brush or I'd use that. Oh. I'll tell you, it's one of the nicest shades I've had. Now I've had two or three of them in a row. I'm spoiling myself. And because I used a uh, menthol cream, I'm going to use Cremoas. 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 <laughs> cooling post shave balm. It'll kind of go along with everything just a little bit, about that much. We'll put the moisture back in the skin. Wow. Oh, is that nice? It smells so good. It's not overpowering either for a menthol, which I like. Oh. Rub it in my arms. I don't want to waste anything. Never do. Oh. You know who does that? Paul H. <laughs> okay, let's go back to front. I use Cremola. Cremola. No, not Cremola. Cremo. Cooling post shave balm. Refreshing mint. Okay. And then I use the Perazzo uh, after shave lotion. I don't know what I'm laughing about. It feels so good. And then with the lavender, of course, Thayer's Witch Hazel. And uh, the brush I used was the. Sterling Soap Company. This is a, uh, I think it's a, looks like a 26 mil brush. It's uh, a badger brush, just very, very comfortable. Uh, the razor blade I use was the, this is the second usage of this, is the King C Gillette blade. It came with a kit with uh, razors I bought from Raw Greens. I don't know if you can buy them at 150 or 100 quantity, but if they do, I'm gonna pick some up, I'll tell you. Okay, the razor I used was the Game Changer. One beautiful razor, I'll tell you. It's a highly machined CNC machine. Each one has an individual serial number on it. And this is the 0 .68 uh, gap on it. You can get other gaps on it if you want two heads. But just a super nice razor. And the shaving cream I used today was the Perazzo. Okay, I can't speak for uh, I can't speak for This is the, the mint. <laughs> Let me bring the box up. This is an Italian. Okay, this is a Prazo shaving cream. This has got uh, eucalyptus and menthol. I'll leave it up there for a second so you can read it instead of going like this. Okay, there you go. And there's a little story on the back. It's inexpensive. It's, I don't know, under 10 bucks or something like that. Definitely worth it. All right. I'm going to leave some other videos up in the corners that I'm going to recommend you, uh, you watch them and hand pick them for you. And I want to really thank all of you that have subscribed. I really appreciate it. You don't believe how well. I mean, I, I, it seems like yesterday I just had one subscriber. And uh, those of you who are subscribed, I'll be bringing some more educational, ridiculously stupid videos to you <laughs> about shaving. And talk. we'll talk about other things other than shaving. So um, thanks for stopping in. We'll see you next time. Be careful out there. Don't get COVID virus. Don't get shot. Don't get burned. Don't have your store raped. Well, whatever, you know. So take care. We'll see you later. Bye-bye.